Hey guys, in the next few videos I'm going to be putting B4D under a little bit of pressure. This is for the 4.4 version. So if you've got some time, just hang, or, hang around and watch because it's actually quite interesting and you'll see the power of B4D. So in this one I'm going to stress it as much as what I can. I'm going to use the abutment module and um, let's see what we can do. For this video I'm going to be choosing a, a direct connection like that and bring it into the scene. Okay now usually we don't need them to be this long so you know make sure that the screw fits because I'm going to angle it extremely. I'm going to go to the model designer and we've got heaps of cutting tools which help you in many different situations. So I'm going to use the vertex cutter and I'm going to extrude it and cut the top of it off, slice it off and accept X and delete it. Now I do know that um, with the component module that the face orientation has to be red on the inside and blue on the outside. So we're going to flip the normals. This is something that one always has to watch out, the normals. Okay, then we're going to get a wax up tooth. In the wax up module, I'm going to get it from the um, generic and I'm going to try and get a skinny tooth just to make it uh, as difficult as I can for myself. So here and position it and we're going to move this into a semi-complicated um, uh, uh, scenario. So just say you've got a tooth over here, so in, in the mouth it would probably be an angle like that. But um, this implant I'm going to purposefully misalign, so let's take that and make it like a ridiculous angle. Not that clinically it would probably not be the case, but because we're making a custom abutment, I want to make it a, bit, a little bit difficult. So here we're going to uh, remesh it because tooth libraries are all different and we need to standardize the mesh st structure. Okay, in the abutment module we're going to do some object management. This is my tooth and this is my abutment. That's easy. Now always make sure that this blank is facing the, in the correct direction. If it's not, it means your normals were flipped and you can just flip the normals over here. In this case, everything is working well so far. So we're going to go and make, I'm going to take this tooth and hide it away for now because I don't need to see that, that tooth. I'm going to take my abutment, um, my interface, and we're going to make an outline. So unfortunately I don't have any tissue or gum or anything, so I'm going to hypothetically uh, put this into a certain uh, position. So just say, say, say the tissue is some, somewhere like that, okay maybe a little bit, let's make this a little bit more subgingival, something like, something like that. Okay, I'm going to create a curved uh, surface like that. You can also use a straight surface if you want to, or a curved surface, so we'll just leave it as curved. You can delete it and then recreate it, but that's okay. So we're going to accept this collar, and now we have to extrude this towards us, similar to the eye bar scenario. Okay, we're going to edit this, we're going to view the tooth, and we're going to make this into silhouette like that, and I'm going to be looking at it from the top side over here, and I'm going to extrude it. So this is the easy part. Um, we're going to then lift the top, and then I'm also going to choose to angle the top, and I'm going to create a little bit of a collar in my my abutment. So we're going to shrink the sides in like that a little bit. So that's looking quite quite good. 
um, I can edit this so if I go edit I can take this and I can further put it into a good position so let's do it some something like like that okay and rotate it and scale it okay this is looking quite good um, so far we haven't had any stress so the stress comes very soon maybe not if it does then I'll just not make a video <laughs> or just redo a video but I have tested it the whole day so it should work all right so from here we need to remesh this so click of a button and um, it's been remeshed the mesh structure is way nicer in the update as you can tell it's just absolutely beautiful okay so as you guys know or don't know you can edit this mesh i can simply click on edit and i can pull this up or down or do whatever i want with this mesh okay so let's make this a little bit like a post post call bring it up like that and i'm going to exit this back into object mode okay we can we can sculpt smooth this a bit but no need to do that let's go to the next menu and this is where we generate in the previous version we had all these buttons we cut those down radically so that we can make things simple we need to attach this little goodie to this little goodie and that's um, quite easily done by just click of one button like that so this has uh, improved a great deal okay so here we go this is perfectly united let's have a look at the mesh structure it is absolutely beautiful beautiful so a little bit less dense here than there but that doesn't really matter but overall it's just absolutely incredible okay now you may want to know how on earth are we going to make a crown on this thing well this module works perfectly with the crown module now that things have been rescripted and enhanced so to do a crown I need another surface so we're going to make an inside surface and we're going to offset that by say 0.1 millimeter and this is where the crown module works and um, I'm ecstatic about that because it's um, just unbelievable okay implant crowns we're going to make one of these uh, looks like a bottle and we're going to accept that which makes a new screw hole so this is what it looks like and then we're going to expose our tooth now you may think hey michael how on earth are you going to connect the two together there must be some uh, magic trick or something well let me tell you there's uh, maybe about six thousand lines of coding that actually makes this work so let's give this a try and i'm going to be holding my breath and hope for in everything that this is going to work so let's click on generate implant fixture go wow that was super fast that was really super fast that splendor 4.4 in action so i'm absolutely stoked with this so here you can see we've got our custom abutment and we've got our, our crown over here but this isn't where it finishes because now we've got this silly hole going through <laughs> through the labial surface i don't like it and neither would the patient or anybody else so we're going to select it and i'm going to get a we we do we're doing extreme things so i'm going to use an extreme angle here okay now i'm going to swivel this i'll go in transparent mode easy as uh, we're going to set this down because we need to set it all the way down to where the screw hole is which is over here and then we're going to angle this we're going to swivel this over to the other side like that okay let's check this out okay so if i can get a hole going through there 
it's still a little bit on the incisal you can see as I'm moving it here I don't want to have it on the incisal so I'm going to shift it just over here but not that this edge is probably not strong enough but uh, let's see how this hypothetical situation pans out okay I'm going to select my crown which is uh, quite incredible and we're going to um, then cut the hole in this mesh structure okay that was su super super fast I didn't even realize that it had been cut and notice that in B4D um, we have a superb mesh network unlike other um, softwares I don't want to mention any names but um, we have an incredible mesh so even the inside here if I have a look it's just unbelievable okay as you can see I can fly all over the place inside and around to the other side okay now I'm a bit lost okay let's um, exit this and there's one more thing that we need to do of course and we need to make another hole into this custom abutment so I'm going to select it and click on this one and hopefully that's going to make my other hole yes um, come true which is great so here we go we've got our crown I'm going to unlock this crown and um, move it upwards so that we can actually see it more in an exploded view take this one up like this or you can see how it's cut it well okay extreme situation but um, nevertheless um, yeah we can see it's quite quite incredible workmanship here great okay hope you guys like it um, I'm very excited about this venture okay Bye.